Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. I've got this gorgeous sparkly tutorial for you today and carry on watching to see how I created this. I am going to show you this tutorial that will be in Urdu and English and this is a great sparkly eye. First of all, Ramadan Mubarak, all of us have a good day and a good day. So here I have started with the gel for the eyebrow. I have defined the eyebrow for the eyebrow. برش کے ساتھ اور پھر آہستہ آہستہ ان کو اویسی تھوڑا سا ان کو فیل آؤٹ کر کے اور پھر شیپ کر دوں گی کنسیلر کے ساتھ So I've started out with my Kat Von D brow gel here and what I'm doing is it's just using my angled brush just to shape the eyebrows and then I'm using my P. Louise base to carve them out and use this as a base for my eyeshadow So I'm using a flat brush, I think this is the MAC 242 brush that I tend to use here So just carving round underneath the eyebrows and above the eyebrows and then I'm going to buff this out with a fluffy brush. So here I have the eyebrows and then I have a fluffy brush and the harsh edges are all blended. And the extra extra product from the bedding motion is the eyes and the eyes are all blended. So next, I have used this palette as well, I have written this name, so I have used this first color. So this is the color from the tapping motion, obviously I have always said that the bottom is green, the base is green, I am taking the color from the tapping motion. And then I will blend it later. I have started this way, like it was a spotlight, it was looking at it. But then I changed it and made it smoky eye. So I have done this like this, but normally I don't do this like this, I have done it in the whole late, if I have done smoky eye. So I have included it in the tutorial that there is no confusion, but you can see that I have made it smoky. I have done my work, but I have done something else, but I have done something else. So sorry if there is no confusion here. So I started off with the very first colour from this palette. Now I started off by actually tapping on the colour at the ends of the eyes, the inner and the outer corners of the eyes, because I was actually going to do a spotlight and have the glitter in the middle. But then as I went along, I decided to do it as a full smoky glitter eye. So I'm sorry if there's a bit of confusion, but normally if I was going to do this, I would have actually already put that first colour on the whole lid. So instead what I've done is I've tapped on my grey colour all over the lid and now I'm going in to actually just blend out the outer um, edges and then I'm going back in with the very first colour and tapping it on and making sure that this blends out into that top colour. So normally if I put the first color on the lid, I had to put the first color on the transition color. Then I put the first color on the smoky eye. I put the patting motion on the whole color and then the outer edges I blend. So first I blended with the brush and then the first color on the lid. And then the first color on the lid is on the outer edges. And then I will blend it so that it will come from a seamless line. So I continue blending until I'm happy with that blend um, and that the colour is actually quite seamless. So here I will blend blending here and here until all the blending is done here. رمضان میں ابھی میں دیکھوں کہ شاید تھوڑی سی کم ویڈیوز ہو جائیں یا شاید میک اپ ریلیٹڈ نہ ہو از ان پروپر ٹیٹوریل شاید دوسری ٹائپ کی ویڈیوز تھوڑی سی لگا دوں تو انشاءاللہ بس آپ لوگوں کے لیے کوس بھی پلان کر رہی ہوں تو انشاءاللہ کوس بھی ہمارا شروع ہو جائے گا سوم جو یہاں ہی پہ فری میں ہوگا مطلب جب میں کوس بولتی ہوں نا وہ پیڈ کوس نہیں ہوگا مطلب یوٹیوب پہ ہی ہوگا لیکن یہاں پہ میں آپ کو ابھ so now what I'm doing is I'm just going back in and tapping in my grey colour and making sure that, you know, if anything's been um, removed then I can just cover that as well and make sure that um, the blending is, is okay. And then I go back to my first colour again. It's a lot of back and forth, like I say, but that's the only way you're going to get a good blend. So I had a blending here and then I had the grey colour and then I had to add the colour back again because it was a little light. Then I had the blending again and then I had the first colour and then I had the blending again. So I was doing this back and forth until I didn't think that everything was blended. So I had to add the colour back again. 
so guys i will be starting my makeup course soon inshallah um it's not a paid course it's just going to be on youtube these are all really detailed step-by-step -step videos as well but what i'm planning on doing is actually going from a to b and trying to explain as much as i can from my experience so i'll go more into that later on so i'm going in with a still a liquid glitter here now so i've used this straight onto the lid and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my finger to actually pat this out now i could have covered the whole lid and just kind of like um blend it out a little bit but it normally when you add glitter like this it, it leaves harsh edges so this is how i like to do it so i build it up slowly slowly so you'll see me going in a few times you could use a brush here as well by the way but i just decided to use my fingers and what i'm doing is is slowly slowly spreading out the glitter a little bit because obviously placement here is up to you now we could have left it just to the lid we could have left it quite um you know lower i'm taking it a bit higher and on the whole lid slowly slowly i'm blending it out so this is how i'm building this particular glitter out so here I have liquid glitter used here. First I have applied it on eyes and then I have applied it on my fingers. I have used it to blend it with my fingers. Now, when I have glitter here, I have used it here. I have used it here, but I have used it here. I have used it here, but I have used it here. I have used it here, but I have used it here. I have used it here, but I have used it here. I have used it here, but I have used it here. So I have used it to apply it here, and then I have used it to blend it with my fingers. ब्लेंड भी कर रही हूँ एजेस इसके एंड इसको मतलब फैला रही हूँ जहाँ पे मुझे चाहिए And then once I've done that, I normally do go back in with the outer corner, um, the colour that we use, like the the, the mauvey colour, and I just blend it out just to make sure it's it's nicely blended. So then I went in with my Krylon um, paint stick on the waterline. Um, to be honest with you, I've used so many um, gels and things like that. And uh, gel liners, actually, eyeliner white ones are, are quite good. But um, I like to use this because it's, it's kind of like um, an off-white colour. So I like the way that it's not too white, but it's not obviously black either. So um, And this just stays in all day, to be honest with you. So यहाँ पे मैंने क्रायलों की पेंट स्टिक यूज़ किया है इन इन लाइनर के लिए एंड ये मुझे इसलिए पसंद है क्योंकि ओबवियसली वाइट लाइनर्स तो होते हैं लेकिन वाइट के इधर फिर ज़्यादा हार्श लग लग सकता है ब्लैक नहीं चाहिए था ओबवियसली ब्राउन भी नहीं तो ये थोड़ा सा ऑफ वाइट सा ना थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट लगता है लैशेज ये अमेजोन का पैक है मैं कोशिश करूँगी लिंक करने के लिए लेकिन मैंने चेक किया था तो इट वॉज ऑल आउट ऑफ स्टॉक सो नेक्स्ट टाइम मैं आपके लिए फिर दोबारा नहीं तो कर दूँगी नहीं मैंने ऑर्डर्स करनी है ये लैशेज लेकिन मैं कोशिश करूंगी कि मैं लिंक कर दूं। सो दिस आर अमेज़न लाशेस व्हिच आई एम एब्सोल्युटली लविंग। नाउ वी डिड एक्चुअली हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद द लाशेस। सो देयर इज अ डिफरेंस एट द मोमेंट। यू कैन सी दैट वन इज स्लाइटली लोअर देन द अदर। डो ऑब्वियसली इन बिटवीन व्हाट आई एव डन इज आई एम गोइंग इन विद माय विटामिन सी सीरम नाउ I'll explain about the lashes in a second. What happened? So, yeah, I've been using vitamin C. Yeah, serum is the mal kia. Um, koi bhi vitamin C ab kar sakte ho. Dusre um oils bhi ab use kar sakte ho. But um, I have Ola Henriksen ka use kia. And eye cream, and then I have primer lagaya, and then I have um um contour um correcting kia. So I've gone in with Ola Henriksen vitamin C cream and then I'm going in with the eye cream and then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Putty Primer. So you can use whichever um, make or brand you want, to be honest with you, you know, whatever you're, you're happy with. And you can actually use, you know, hyaluronic acid if you want to. Or, you know, there's lots of different products you can use, but skincare, like I said, is very, very important. So eyelashes, I'm going to have a little bit of difference here. I'm going to have a little bit of difference here. I'm going to have a little bit of difference here. Basically, it's going to have a little bit of difference here. और जो एक आई लैश उसको स्टिक कर करके तो वो नहीं हो रही थी तो इस सिचुएशन में मैं हमेशा फिर जो आई लैश होती है छोड़ देती हूँ एंड देन बिल्कुल एंड पे जाके जब वो बिल्कुल ड्राई हो गया फिर उसको एडजस्ट करके एम लगा देती हूँ सो पूरी वीडियो में आई एम सॉरी थोड़ी सी ओबियसली वो सही नहीं लग रही लेकिन एंड पे वो बिल्कुल ठीक लगेगी जब आई एम फिनिशिंग आप पिक्चर्स देखेंगे वगैरह यहाँ पर मैं कलर करेक्टिंग कर रही हूँ अपना मेकअप फॉर एवर पैलेट इस्तेमाल करके So the eyelash basically there was a problem with the the eyelash actually sticking down. It wasn't sticking down properly. So what happened was is basically the eyes was watering a little bit earlier on. So what I did is um, I've left the eyes um, like they were. So what that's what I would do on a bride as well. And right at the end, in, throughout the whole video, I'm sorry, the eyelash is obviously going to look a little bit odd. But at the end, I stuck it down and lifted it up like I needed to. So I know in the video it looks a little bit odd. 
So I went in with my Makeup Forever foundation. Um, the plan was to just go and do one foundation just to show you guys, but I can always see the difference between when I've mixed foundations and when I haven't. So because I'm doing full on makeup and bridal makeup and things like that, I thought I'd, I did end up going in with two foundations again. So at the moment, I've just gone in with the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and then I'm gonna add the actual cream foundation from the Makeup Essentials palette, um, which is the first time I've done it like that, but it was really, really nice. So yeah, I'm liquid foundation use key and makeup forever key. Liquid foundation, I thought that one foundation was going to be used for a long time. I mix the foundations and it's not that much different. I mean, one foundation is obviously when you mix it. So that's why I used two actually. So I used the liquid foundation with the brush and then the damp beauty blender. Se blending kar hum. And then the palette of makeup forever, ka, usi se main dubara, contouring and um, highlighting kar hum, iske saath, abhi foundation. Ke saath. And I got more coverage and it was very good contouring. Bhi thi. So I'm actually contouring and highlighting with my foundation. So this is a cream foundation. You could do with this with actually any liquid foundations or cream foundations as well. And I'll have to, there's a certain way I'm going to be changing my channel now. And I think the way I do makeup so I can explain it a lot more better. Um, but for now, obviously, I'm just going to explain that I've gone in with the cream contour and the cream and the lighter shade in the palette underneath the eyes. I'm still going to highlight um, with a lighter concealer but basically I'm contouring with the foundation and it's it's a really nice way to do it and you'll see that the definition is really nice and it just gave me that extra coverage that I needed and it blended out beautifully so I normally start out with blending out the contour first and then I blend out the highlight some people do it the other way around I think it's personal preference to be honest with you but I think it's easier to blend away your dark colors first and then use the light and then it doesn't look very muddy or anything like that so I first blend my contour and then blend it and then highlight it some people blend their highlight I think it's my own but it feels like it's easier because it's not muddy so I'm going to blend it out So yeah, what I'm thinking is, is later on, I'm doing a lot of tutorials with obviously full bridal outfits and things like that. And what it is, is it's becoming a little bit uh, stressful and difficult to do at times. And then sometimes also when I'm doing these photo shoots, it becomes really rushed that I, I can't always explain everything to you guys properly, I think. So I'm going to start doing more home shoots where I actually can take my time and I'm not rushed. Um, and then that means when I'm recording as well, I can actually do it in a lot more detail and I can explain more things and I can actually showcase a lot of more different looks um, for you guys um, so obviously they won't have the full outfits on but um, probably jewelry will be on and hair will be done and then at least I can start focusing more on the hairstyles as well because what happens is is in these shoots I, I, I cannot explain how stressful and how um, time the time constraints um, on you and things like that um, that, that, that are happening so uh, there's a lot of work that goes into them but I think I'm going to be just doing that so I hope you guys will be fine with that so I guess I was thinking that obviously now the whole hair and makeup is the look of it, it comes with the clothes and it comes with the clothes. But I guess I will shoot a little bit where I will not be able to do proper dhulan ka jora na ho, ho ga, bridal makeup. But when I shoot it, it is very stressful. So it is very stressful. टाइम लग रहा है एंड प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं कई दफ़ा तो अभी मैं घर पे काफ़ी ज़्यादा किया करूँगी जहाँ पे मैं एटलीस्ट फिर काफ़ी डिफरेंट लुक्स लेके आ सकती हूँ और बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छी तरह एक्सप्लेन कर सकती हूँ अभी भी मैं करती हूँ लेकिन ओबियसली आई थिंक जब मैं फोटो शूट कर रही हूँ थोड़ा सा रश करके चीज़ें हो रही होती हैं एंड देन ये है कि आपके लिए ना अच्छे अच्छे एम टूटोरियल्स आगे लेके आऊँगे इन तो यहाँ पे मैंने ऑब्वियसली हाइलाइटिंग एंड कॉन्ट्रोलिंग कर चुकी हूँ लेकिन फिर भी एक हाईलाइटर यूज़ कर रही हूँ यहाँ पर कंसीलर वनीला शेड में टू फेस का so I've done my contouring and highlighting, but obviously I've gone in with a bit of concealer as well because I wanted that slight extra coverage, even though I did go underneath the eyes with the foundation as well. So again, I'm just placing this on and it's not that light either. And I'm just going to tap this in with my damp, uh, with my brush, actually. So before that, I'm just spraying on the um, Benefit Pore Professional Spray. So यहाँ पे मैंने आप Mac का Fix Plus use कर सकते हैं, आप कोई भी hydrating spray use कर सकते हैं, setting spray भी use कर सकते हैं। यहाँ पे blending करने से पहले, लेकिन मैंने यहाँ पे professional का sorry benefit का professional setting spray वो इस्तेमाल किया। And then ये real techniques का brush है, इससे मैं इसकी blending कर रही हूँ। 
अगर आपको ये वीडियोस पसंद आ रही हैं तो प्लीज़ ऑब्वियसली मुझे कमेंट्स में भी बताना एंड साथ साथ मुझे लाइक्स एंड सब्सक्राइब कर दें प्लीज़ ये वीडियोस ऑब्वियसली बहुत मुश्किल से मैं करती हूँ बहुत टाइम लग जाता है इनमें तो जितना आप इनको लाइक करेंगे सब्सक्राइब करेंगे शेयर करेंगे उतना ही मेरे लिए अच्छा होगा एंड उससे फिर मेरा भी दिल करता है कि मैं और ज़्यादा वीडियोज़ करती रहूँ आप लोगों के लिए So guys, you can follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram is Shazma M U A. There's a lot of different content on there, and um, that I tend to put on. My looks are normally first put on there as well before they come to YouTube. So you can follow me there as well. Also, do like um, the video and subscribe. And if you're liking the content, do let me know in the comments below. Obviously, any suggestions you have as well. I know not everything I do will be. Um, you know to everyone's taste but what i'm trying to do is just showcase different things it's not necessarily what i would do on that particular person but again i book a model and then i have something in mind and i do it as best as i can to suit them as well but also i need to be showcasing looks different looks for you guys otherwise you will get quite bored if i start showing you the same thing just on a different model every time so i know it's not going to be to everyone's taste but please it would be nice to just appreciate that obviously the time and effort that goes into everything so here I'm using my damp beauty blender and I'm using the Huda Beauty pound cake um, um, powder here and I'm just tapping this in. So I have used Huda Beauty powder with the damp beauty blender with its tapping motion. But when you use it with a little beauty blender, it doesn't get absorbed. It doesn't get absorbed, but I had to bake a little bit, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So now I'm going to do a little bit of baking. So um, I'm going to be using my powder puff and I'm adding on the same powder a little bit more thickly now. So underneath the eyes and I'm going to just blend um, underneath the contour as well now. So this is just going to shape out that contour for me a little bit more and define it. So here I have powder puff and I have a powder with the brush. I feel like it's a little bit messy with the brush. So I feel like it's a little bit messy with the brush. तो यहाँ पे अभी मैं मैक का स्टूडियो फिक्स इस्तेमाल कर रही हूँ थोड़ी सी यहाँ पे एम कंट्रोल करने के लिए। तो आई एम जस्ट कंट्रोलिंग हेयर विद द मैक स्टूडियो फिक्स। Underneath the eyes, then I went in with the grey that I actually used on the lid to smoke out the eyes. So what I'm doing is just gently smoking out the outer corners of these eyes, and then I'm going to blend this out as well with the very first colour that I used on the lids. So यहाँ पे मैं बस थोड़ा सा जो ग्रे लिड पे इस्तेमाल किया था उससे मैं यहाँ पे आईस को स्मोक आउट कर दूँगी थोड़ा सा So now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Powder and what I'm doing is I'm using the same Real Techniques brush and I'm patting this into the skin. Now I don't swipe, I need you guys to kind of like see that I'm pressing the powder in. So all the powder that was there is actually being pressed back into the skin and it still looks flawless and it doesn't look cakey. Um, that is what I love about these kind of like techniques that I'm doing, it just looks really really great. तो यहाँ पे मैंने जो सेकंड पाउडर किया था ये इस्तेमाल ये था शाला टेलरी का एंड ब्रश को देखें कि मैं इसको स्वाइपिंग मोशन से नहीं प्रेस करके सो जो भी वहाँ पे जो एक्स्ट्रा वो पाउडर था ना उसको मैंने स्किन के अंदर प्रेस किया है ऑब्वियसली एंड पे थोड़ा बहुत जो एक्स्ट्रा था वो मैंने स्वाइप कर दिया है लेकिन आपने यहाँ पर प्रेसिंग मोशन से आपने इसको करना है एंड बहुत ज़्यादा फ्लोलेस लुक आता है यहाँ से ऐसे करके ना एंड देखो अभी मैं सेटिंग ये मैक का फिक्स प्लस इस्तेमाल करूँ कि ऑब्वियसली पाउडरिंग इतनी हमने की तो थोड़ी सी स्किन हाइड्रेट हो जाए तो इन टेक्निक से आपका बेस भी लॉन्ग लास्टिंग होता है एंड फ्लोलेस लगेगा एंड केक ही नहीं लगता सबसे बड़ी बात ये है डॉल हाइलाइटर मैं यहाँ डॉल ब्यूटी का हाइलाइटर इस्तेमाल कर रही हूँ यहाँ पे 
So I've, I just sprayed it with MAC uh, Fix Plus. After all my powdering, I always go in with a hydrating spray. So using these techniques will really, really help you gain confidence in creating a, a heavy bridal base, but it not being cakey at the end. And if it does become cakey, if you're following these techniques and you're thinking, you know, it still becomes cakey, then you need to be looking at skin care um, of the person that you're doing the makeup on as well. So if it's yourself, if it's a bride, you need to be looking at skincare as well. And obviously the experience, I mean, I, I, I'm using these products, but I do have a lot of experience. I can normally judge it by the skin. So I'm going to try and cover all these bits in, in the course that I try and do as well. So I can give you some more explanations of what to do and how to do it. So I always go in with my highlighter first, then my blusher, and then I go back in with a bit more highlighter, and then I blend out my blusher. And um, that's the way I can like like to do it. So now I'm just smoking out the underneath of the eyes with that first colour that I used as a transition colour. So I highlighter pehle lagaya tha, fir blusher lagaya tha, and then dobara pe ja ke highlighter thoda sa lagati hoon. Is tarike se aapki na blending sahi ho jati hai. फिर आईज को ऑब्वियसली मैंने थोड़ा सा आई लाइनर लगाया था जो लैशेज थोड़ी सी गंदी हो जाती है वहाँ पे ग्लिटर गिर जाता है इस, इस टाइप की चीज़ें तो उसको मैं थोड़ा सा क्लीन कर रही हूँ so I've just cleaned up the eyelashes with some liquid um, eyeliner because obviously you are going to get a little bit of fallout and things like that and then I've gone in with my mascara um, and then obviously I still need to fix that eyelash So, यहाँ पे हमने MAC का lip liner इस्तेमाल किया है Coke, उसका नाम है and Huda Beauty की liquid lipstick थी Baby Doll. So what I've done is I've used the Coke lip liner from MAC. Um, I I kind of like use this lip liner for any color lipstick I'm going to use, whether it's red, whether it's whatever color, and it seems to work. Um, and it's it's a nice formula. And then I'm using this Huda Beauty lipstick and I'm using my, um, it's just like a little flat brush that I'm using to apply it with. I find it easier rather than using a traditional lipstick brush because I think they're quite pointy and uh, this is a flat brush and I think it gives you more ease um, to actually be able to just draw out your lip line, uh, your actual lipstick. So this was pretty much the final look. I mean, this is where I've done all, all the um, makeup and everything. So I'm going to let you have a look at the final look. I hope you guys have liked this tutorial. I have got the hair tutorial coming too. So please um, do leave me a comment and inshallah we'll see you soon. Yeah, my final look tha. Abhi aap pictures videos dekh le. I hope aapko pasand aaye. Kuch seekhne ke liye mila. And inshallah aapke liye hair tutorial bhi leke aongi. So please like, comment, share. And inshallah dobara mulaqat hogi. Allah Hafiz.